all the world's a stage and all the men and women in it merely players. They have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts. His act being seven ages. Now first the infant, muling and puking in the nurse's arms. Then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face creeping like snail unwillingly to school. Then the lover sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress' eyebrow. Then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard, jealous in honour, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice in fair round belly with good capon line with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise swords and modern instances. And so he plays his part. Sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon, the spectacles on nose and pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shanks and his big manly voice turning again to childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all that ends this strange eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything.